Have you ever fancied about having a live CD of the OpenBSD so you don't need to install it so you can just like put the live CD, boot it off, try OpenBSD and then if you like it then you can basically go to the official website and download the official OpenBSD and install it on your system. If the answer is yes, I have a good news for you. There are actually two projects yet they are unofficial that they put this effort to create a live CD of the OpenBSD so the end user can pull it off, play around with it. Today we are going to cover one only as I couldn't actually get the another one of and running on the virtual box. So for that one, I need the real hardware, which would be a topic of the upcoming videos, one of the upcoming videos. So we have Fugo Ita means that pufferfish disk and this one is a Japanese OpenBSD Live CD, which offers multiple things. So live DVD, live CD, live USB. This one is not up updated to the OpenBSD 7.3 yet, but in case that you want to try 7.2 or any older version, you can do it. So you can go here to the website. I make sure to add the website in the video description. So you go to the fugoita.org and then you go here, the list, and then from here, you can actually download what you want. For example, if you go to here, you see that there's a AMD, 64 bits and also 32 bits so you can download it it has for both usb as well as live cd or dvd then there is another one which is called live usb openbsd this one is not a live cd that's why i couldn't get it up and running on the virtual box this one is a usb thumb drive and you need to basically write the image to the usb drive but the size of the usb drive should be 64 gigabyte to what i know and these are the three flavors one is the minimum version without x so this one would be good if you want just to work in console it has XFCE, which is fantastic, plus Geno. So the disk size are small because they are the compressed one, but once you actually decompress or extract the file, you see that the file size would be around 64 gigabytes. So these are the three images, and you can download and directly use DD command to burn it on a USB stick. Then you have a live usb let's say running xfce so for today we are going to use fugo ita as i mentioned the virtual box is not working with the live usb open bsd so let's bring up the virtual box here i tried with the qemu but it was too slow and i thought that you guys would be bored so i had to switch to linux for this one so let's fire up. I configured the virtual machine already. It's a standard configuration, nothing fancy here. And then this is the boot screen. So let me try to see whether I can make this one a scale mode so you can see it better. Okay, so it's booting the normal OpenBSD boot process, but it will be a bit fascinating later on. So let's wait for it. Okay, so as you can see, it prints out the, the logo here and then it asks whether we want to use the CD or something. So this is the CD, so we press enter and how much amount of memory do we want to allocate for it for the MFS. So we go with the default. I allocated eight gigabytes of RAM for this virtual machine, but here it says that okay, it goes with six, and here are the multiple options for boot. So, one is the fresh boot, as if that it just loads the things from the CD. Another one would be with less memory consumption because a slash user would be non writable, so you cannot do any PKG added stuff there. Another one is taking the everything, put it into the RAM. This is what I understood. Works using only RAM, about one gigabyte or more of RAM required. And you have also two other options on loading the files that you save because you can have basically running it on a USB flash drive and save the files there. So in this case, you can boot with retrieving the files from the storage device, 
And also you can do the, you can encrypt that volume or any other volume and then basically mount it. So since this is the first time we are trying this, we go with the simplest option, which we have, which would be option zero. And now it copies the stuff to the S slash RAM. It's done. And let's see what happens. All right. Now we have to try select the keyboard layout. So we go with the US here and we need to give a password for the root user. Okay, it says we need to enter a longer password. Let's see what happens. I'm just trying to put some nonsense password here. Now we have to specify the host name. So host name, I just put test for now. And it comes to the IP selection. We go with the IP version four only and here is the network interface selection based on the screenshot that i gathered from the fugo eta website you can also select the wireless and then enter the wireless password while you are setting up so this is something good and handy especially for those who have not much of experience about the open bsc since this is a virtual box again so it goes with the ethernet and okay get the ip address automatically and now we have the option to either go with the console or we go with the x window it would be the normal x window that we have let's see what other thing it has done okay so it's loading up and reordering libraries all right you should load right now And now we see the beautiful Zeno DM here. Okay, so let's log in. Okay, I had to log in with root. And let's go here. The screen looks a bit weird now because I scaled it. So please bear with me. So we can, for example, pkg ads, neofetch, htop. All right, so let's do a quick neofetch here neo fetch and as you can see so it is the open bsc 7.2 and we can do also edge top in case as you have seen fugo eta provides a very convenient way to try open bsc on a, any system without installing it however if you have decided to install open bsd go to the official open bsd website download the iso or image and then install it on your computer despite the fact that i don't believe this live cd has any malicious code embedded in it you need to be very cautious and not for example install Firefox here and then open your banking you need to be mindful of your security and not trust anybody not to mention that this one is bad I don't believe that but the first rule of thumb is that be as paranoid as you can when it comes to the security especially you don't want to lose your hard-earned money unless you were a politician's son anyway that's all for this video I hope you enjoyed it I would like to take a moment to thank Patreon contributors Grog with 30 generous dollar, Stellar Orbit with 20 generous dollar, OpenBSD Maximalist, Alexander M, Hogarth Axcock, Monty, Russell Willis, and Seneca, OpenBSD Enthusiast, DM Liquid Mobius, and finally OpenBSD Curious, Ryan Woodford, and Sigturn.